How are you doing guys? Um, and welcome. We have a video of Favela here, Team Deathmatch. Um, I just wanted to talk about some of the tactics you might want to use in Favela. Uh, as you know, Favela is a very small map. You can see my setup, the M4A1. Uh, you might think, why is he using an assault rifle? It's a very small map, why not use a submachine gun or just run around with a knife? I like to use this tactic. So, what you want to do is take advantage of those guys who run around with a submachine gun or a knife. Take a long range weapon, take an assault rifle, and take those guys from a distance. For them, it will be very hard to shoot you back if they do have a submachine gun. And um, about my perks, I have the Stopping Power Pro, because um, the Stopping Power Pro and uh, uh, M4, I think they really make a good combination. Even though the M4 is not very accurate at like really long range, and the Iron Sight is not the best. The stopping power gives it that extra power of being very powerful at even close range. It's definitely one of my favorite assault rifles. And what many people don't know, and you'll end up seeing my future videos, is that the silencer reduces your recoil so much that you can't imagine. And that's why many people use it for the tar, for example. There you go, my first death. I have 5 deaths in total, and I have 27 kills, a few assists. I think assists are quite good, actually. I mean, you know, it's all about team deathmatch, you know, so team. But anyway, um, then I have this uh, Scavenger Pro. And Scavenger Pro, because I have the extended magazines, so I really think those extra bullets are going to come handy. And Ninja Pro, because usually what I do, and you should also do this, is I use a headset instead of speakers, because that really helps you th um, know that where are your enemies. You can hear the left and the right and you know like that and you can really have the, you know the sound really close to your ears so it helps you it helps you hear everything more clearly um, I'm doing pretty well here getting some kills this match was quite funny these guys they were really ignorant they were running around and they were not even all that concentrated like that guy he was running on a clear hallway and that guy they're not even looking at me so, I'm getting some easy kills. I'm I'm not an expert at this game. I mean, I'm not even especially good, but when I get a good match, I know why I got the good match. Like, this round, these guys, they were just so ignorant. And, um, so, um, in this game, people had so many UAVs, you can't even believe they were, like, in total, like, 70% of the time, there's a UAV up. That really helped me a lot. And I'm sorry if you can't see my radar because I'm not using a screen recorder, I'm using a camera because capture cards are extremely expensive, like $200 for a standard definition one here we go, I I went for a double kill but I couldn't get it and this guy just runs past me, I can't believe it, He's, I kill him I'm just spraying bullets all over the place but that's what extended magazines are all about I don't even have the red dot sight, so why not I'm the scavenger, you know, so it doesn't really matter and um, oh yeah, I get killed by that guy he goes around with a shotgun. Yeah. I don't really do shotguns at the game. The Kimbo models, I guess they're okay. You know, they have a nice range and all, accuracy. But otherwise, shotguns like the AA-12, uh, not my gun. So here we go, I get my Harrier in. I try to make the best of the airstrike. It gets destroyed pretty quickly, but it gets some nice kills. And you know when the Harrier's up, People are kind of concentrating on it, so you might wanna, you you might wanna take advantage of those people who are hiding from it or trying to destroy it. Like here, people are looking up and trying to hide from it, uh, tr trying to hunt from it. So I take this guy out because he's, you know, concentrating with the Harrier. You might, yeah, and this guy, he's probably, yeah, painkiller. Awesome. Here we go. I get that guy, concentrating with the uh, Harrier. I go up here, take a look. That that guy's uh, getting front. Oh, what is this guy doing here? Yeah, so th yeah, this ends up being pretty funny. Get a long fight, and then I end up killing him. No, I don't. I end up not even getting assist. That is ridiculous. In the very beginning, I got a kill without him shooting a bullet, throwing one flashbang, and I got a kill. And now that guy wouldn't even die. And I get knife from behind because I thought there was that guy. You know. Get in my bag, but apparently he could knife also. 
So I come back here. On Favela, there's a great plan of sticking to a few friends, but still staying out of the crowds. Because, you know, the crowds, that, you know, they attract attention. I see that guy, but it's a bit too late. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. So if you have a few guys, you know, you know, you take... You take his back, he takes your back. And you get that one place you're defending. And you'll do just fine. I wouldn't usually run around like this. I'm pretty careful at this game, but here... People were just running so... Ignorantly that I just didn't... Think it was a threat. This guy over there... Thinks I'm reloading, but I'm not. Extended magazines. <laughs> the good thing about the extended magazines is that people think you're reloading, even though you're not. Yeah, so I shoot him. I see that guy through the bush. And he comes in, but he doesn't see me because I'm the bush. So, you know. Yeah, that guy kills me from there. Pretty far away. I couldn't even see him, that's why. And, um. So I see that guy, but he's a bit too far away from my gun's range because I don't even have the red dots out or anything. So I kind of want him to come down, but he won't. I get him up there. Some lag, but still make it. I see there's a guy in my back. You see that guy? He just run in there. And that guy. They are so... They are just totally out of it. They just... And that guy, he didn't shoot one bullet. So that's why I got, a, I got really lucky a few times. I guess eventually helped me get my score, my kill death spread. Which was um, 22, and uh, here we go. I see that guy. You know, sure shots in the stomach area. I'm not really headshot type of a guy, nor am I knifing guy. Yeah, I, I'm just wondering where did that guy come from. I look at the kill cam, like, oh yeah, well that's that's bullshit. He runs from behind, probably the first appropriate kill. I, I, I take that guy, he's pretty just, just standing there, not doing anything. Yeah, my range is not, not good enough for that guy back there. I can't go after him. So, the match is about to end. Just looking around for the last kill. Yeah, al I almost get the last kill, but not quite. This guy with the tar gets it. You can see the kill cam, but I was very close to getting the last kill. Yep, well, if you like this, Check out my next video, um, comment, rate, whatever, and uh, see you next time.